Ayan na, mga kameta. Kamusta kayo dyan? Mga ka-unity. Mga ating mga kababayan, mga minamahal na kaibigan, mga followers natin from all around the world. Kamusta naman kayo dyan? Sorry ah. Kakatapos lang marathon today. Grabe, no? Article dun sa first, fi- first 500. First 100 days ni... Paolo Marcos, interviews, and then kanina may class from 5 to 8 p.m. Kaya sabi ko, medyo habol tayo dito kahit pa paano. Baka naman, baka naman, na-miss yun rin ako guys. So, kamusta kayo guys? From a scale of 1 to 100. Or from a scale of 1 to unity guys. Anong score nyo dito sa ating first 100 days of Marcos Jr. administration? Ano, na-enjoy niya ba? Ramdam niyo ba ang golden age? Ramdam niyo ba ang ano? Ano naman mga Yamashita, ano? Ano na? Ramdam niyo ba? May Nutribuns na ba? Nutribun Republic na ba tayo? Ano na? Kamusta na? Ano na guys? Anong score niyo from 1 to 100? From 1 to unity? Ano ang grade natin dito sa ating... Uh, Uh, Paulo, no? First hundred days. First hundred days. Don't worry, guys. Magkakaroon tayo ng serious breakdown na naman of many factors. I have just published a number of articles or written a number of articles on this. Isishare natin yan in detail. Pero ngayon, of course, gusto natin malaman, guys. Kamusta ang scoring system natin dito? Kung baga, kung Formula One, kung Grand Prix, diba? kung Monaco, Formula One, ano ang ano niya? Anong level tayo dyan? Doon ba tayo sa top 3? Doon ba tayo Verstappen level? Uh, Leclerc level? Andun ba tayo sa Lewis Hamilton na, na medyo pababa? Andun ba tayo sa pinakamawaba? Ano ba? Alfa Romeo level ba tayo? Ferrari level ba tayo? Or doon tayo sa Honda Verstappen? Yeah. Yan ang mga tanong natin dyan mga kameta. From 1 to 100, ano po ang score nyo? From 1 to unity, gaano ka-impressed kayo dito sa first 3 months or so, 100 days ng ating bagong Pangulo, Marcos Jr.? Yun lang naman, guys, yun lang naman. Tanong lang, tanong lang. Ramdam nyo ba ang pagmamahal? Ramdam nyo ba ang party, you know? Good times! Yeah, Siyempre, may mga iba dyan. May time for party, time for everything, happy times, ganun. Good for them, good for them. Happy tayo, siyempre. Di ba? Minsan kailangan ng Grand Prix para um, discuss ng trade issues, ganun. No, ako naman, uh, siyempre, na-accuse tayo ng soft daw tayo kay Marcos Jr. Ako naman, sabi ko naman, to be fair naman to President Marcos Jr., he has inherited a lot of problems from different administrations, including just the previous administration. Yung malaking debt, yung problema sa pandemic, yung problema sa Department of Health. Ayan na, ano na, meron namang Department of Health Secretary na talagang permanente. Ano, ano na. Uh, of course, may Press Secretary na ba tayo? Pumasok na ba yung bagong Press Secretary? Na-appoint na ba? Ano na, alam ko meron yung acting officer, uh, dating head ng LTFRB atang lumipat doon. Pero ang tanong dito guys, ang tanong dito is, ano na, sino maging next uh, secretary of, press secretary, presidential spoken, blah blah blah, para ma-explain naman yung party ng pangulo natin. Ako naman guys, ito ah. Bago tayo pupunta dun sa mga detailed discussion, maybe you can leave it for tomorrow na lang guys para medyo araw na kasi maraming tulog na yata ngayon stress kaya yung habang araw. Ayun natin magpolitika masyado. Dito lang tayo guys, dito tayo sa element ng uh, ato. O oh, napansin ko nga, sabi nga ng comment, nag-freeze daw tayo ng konti. Siguro it's my internet connection, siguro minsan medyo may problema. But ngayon, clear ba tayo mga kameta? Mga ka-unity! Ano na? Anong score niya? 1 to unity. 1 to 100. Kamusta ang scoring system natin dyan? Ano tayo dyan? Grand Prix. Yan. Okay. Now, ako ha. Ito. Ito talagang pinaka yung word talaga na ginagamit natin parati sa Pilipinas. Na sobrang malabo, no? Pag, pansin nyo tayo mga Pinoy. Medyo, ito na stand up na tayo ng konti. Ha? Pansin nyo ha. Hindi tayo masyado mahilig sa abstract explanations or medyo quantitative accuracy. So for instance, di ba kung minsan nasa probinsya, tanong sa'yo, gano'n kalayo yung pupuntan namin? Ay, dalawang sigarilyo po. Yung mga gano'n yung mga sagot, di ba? Eh, 
Paano yan? Eh, paano kung Philip Morris yung sigarilyo? Ang haba yan, di ba? Kung para kung... Ano yung isang sigarilyo na ano? Eh, by the way, I don't smoke, no? Tagal na hindi ko nags... SSC ba yan? SC na sobrang manipis na mali. Siyempre, eh, dip- depende. Eh, sigarilyo mo yung ano, o Philip Morris. Andan pa rin ba yung mga ganyan sig- Ah, ba yan? Tatagal yan compared dun sa... Saan? Malayo pa. Dalawang sigarilyo lang yan, mga putan mo, di ba? Yan ang medyo ayoko, guys. Yung sobrang malabo yung explanations ng tao, di ba? Yung... Or... Tanong mo, di ba? Minsan, bati sa nakikita natin sa academy. Eh. Paki-explain itong konsepto nito. For example po, paki-explain nga. Yun nga, for example, explain as in abstract terms. Kailangan talaga natin ma-example para ma-explain natin isang bagay. Hindi natin ma-explain. Like, ano pong unity? Kunyari, ano pong unity? For example po, nag-away ang mga ganyan. Ano nga yung unity? Ayan tayo, napakalabo eh. Napakalabo minsan yung mga explanations natin guys Yan. So 1 to 100 Kaya nga sabi ko may scoring systems tayo Para ano naman Para ano naman Pasado ba? Hindi pa pasado? Super pasado? Super impressive? Super hindi impressive? Ano ba? Afraid? Happy? Yan Pakisabi naman mga kameta Anong grading nyo dito sa first 100 days And what are you looking forward to? Mamaya na tayo sa vice president and other officials No? Inintay ko pa yung Pulse Asia other numbers also dun sa approval rating sa presidente mismo. Because kahapon, of course guys, pinag-usapan natin ano yung rating ng presidente natin based on issues. I actually like that issue-based assessment, di ba? Kaysa lang overall popularity na, pwede na, okay na yun si tata yung ganun. Hindi, ito yung talagang medyo specified. So di ba kahapon, dinis-discuss natin talaga yung ratings ng presidente ayon sa specific issues no so nakita natin na on some issues mas mataas ang uh, you know approval ni Pangulong Marcos so nakita natin sa issues ng uh uh diba ah uh, ito pala yung levels of urgency na na-attach no uh, but nakita natin guys no on many issues majority naman approval kay Pangulong Marcos no pretty high uh yung kanyang numbers but as i said the big issue for the president is that dun sa pinaka issue na mahalaga Para sa majority, in fact, the only issue na majority concern, more than 60%, dun pa yung medyo kapos, no? yung, or at least, ang feeling ng tao, medyo kapos yung performance ng government. No? So, ito yung pinakita natin kaapon na medyo, di ba, mataas dito sa mga ibang issues, pero pagdating dito sa controlling inflation, ayan, negative 11 ang net trust rating, no? net approval rating. So, medyo problematic yan. As I said, let's be fair naman, the issue of inflation has many uh, contributing factors, hindi lang yung government management, ginagawa ng BSP, their external factors, etc. But I think that's where, that's why ma- ma- mahalaga na magaling yung press secretary at saka yung communications team ni Pangalong Marcos para ma-explain na mabuti to what degree they can be blamed for this or not. Ako naman, eto ah, ba- balikan natin yung issue kanina, no? Anong scoring system 1 to 100? Guys, ito talaga, doon talaga ako minit na ulo kay. Alam mo yung, kunyari, may, at yung kausap mo, meron siyang na-meet. Uy, kamusta? Maganda ba? Or guwapo ba? Ganun. Sakto lang, sakto lang. Ano nga? Maganda ba? Or magguwapo ba? Sakto nga lang. Ano? Pangit? Sakto lang. Pati nga yung picture. And then pagbigay ng picture... Pangit nga. <laughs> Ayan tayo. Tapos may tinignan mo siya. Sama ka ng tingin niya sa... Sabi ko, sakto lang. Hindi nga eh. <laughs> Sabihin mo na kasi. Alin yun ang ginakaya ko sa word na sakto lang. Talagang hindi klaro. What does it mean? Is it like low standard, high standard, minimum standard? Basta sakto lang. O, so baka ito yung scoring nyo. Sakto lang. Ano, sakto lang. Yan bang tingin nyo? Kamusta ang situation? Pero guys, ito honestly ah. May pinost tayo kaapon na nag-viral sa Twitter. And it's just like a random, it's not even rant naman eh. It's just a random expression of frustration and all. At dami na trigger, nag responda naman. Dito yung sinabi natin sa Twitter. Ang sinabi ko lang naman guys is, honestly, namamahalan ako dito sa Maynila. And I'm saying it as someone who has extensively traveled. Hindi naman Grand Prix level over the weekend. Pero as someone who has extensively traveled, a lot of... Countries that happen to be richer than us, global north countries, etc. Ay nako. Ang dami nag-react sa sinabi natin mga kameta. Uh, nakita ko, ba't mga artista nagre-react na dito? In fairness naman, in support naman yung iba. Uh, hindi ko na sabihin yung mga pangalan na artista na yan. Baka mag-away-away pa tayo dito. Ito, ito. 
Hindi, sinabi ko lang talaga, guys, eh. Ang mahal ng Manila. Promise. Like, it's just... From like a scale of 1 to 100, gano'ng kamahal ang Manila? I mean, honestly, for at... I'm sorry to use this term, for a third world capital, or, or more correct term, for a developing country capital, guys. Napakamahal talaga Manila. Namamahalan talaga ako. Kaya naiintindihan ko bakit yung issue ng inflation ay malaki para sa mga kababayan natin. Dahil tayo na nga na middle class, oh, hindi ako magpapagap, hindi ako, you know, I, I mean, middle class, right? Tayo nga na middle class, nakikita natin, nahihirapan tayo. Or napapasalita na tayo, especially when you compare it to other countries, no? Like, So, let me show you also some things like to put things into perspective. So, ito yung mga cost of living sa iba't ibang cities. No? Uh, so, makikita, makikita niya guys, medyo mataas-taas talaga ang Pilipinas. So, pakinggan natin dito. Ha? So, yung, yung, yung ano natin kanina, mga kameta, yung pinost natin kanina, uh, na nag-viral dito sa Twitter, was about gano'n ka mahal talaga. Super mahal, mahal, mahal. Very expensive, very mahal. Ang Manila. So, may mga iba sabi, Oh, malis ka na dito. Mag-abroad ka na. Hello, taga Baguio ako. Gusto ko malis. Ipunta ako sa hometown ko. Okay, makialam. Hindi nyo buhay yan. Buhay ko to. Alright? I choose where I wanna be. Pero sinasabi ko, Yes, of course, may inequality. I mean, even if you go to London and or, you know, or you go to uh, New York or Florence, whatever. if you go to the posh areas, of course, it's always more expensive than the more, uh, let's say, basic areas. That inequality is there. It's a bit worse in the Philippines. But even Carinderia prices, basic prices, rent, etc., for, for the quality you get, guys, right? Value for money, guys, medyo mahal talaga. Namamahalan ako, eh. Wait lang, ah. So, ito, ito. So, ito yung pinost natin kanina, nag-viral. So, ito yung pinost ko kanina nag-viral, guys. Uh, sabi ko, uh, Manila is so expensive, especially for a third world capital. Sorry, I, did, I know third world is no longer a political correct term kasi it's a very cold war term. Third world is supposed to be neither first world, meaning capitalist, western, nor second world, meaning communist. No, That was what third world meant. So, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, even richer countries, major third world, technically speaking, non-aligned sila. But we also know third world means developing country, etc. Guys, ang mahal ang, ang Manila. And talagang dami nag-react dito. I actually just randomly wrote about it na yung prices of basic commodities. Food, rent, transportation, kung mag-grab ka, mahal, etc. It's, it's a little bit parang, uh, I won't say unreasonable, but a little bit mapapakamot ka ng ulo na parang bakit ganyan, di ba? At may, bas, may basihan naman yung sinisabi natin mga kameta. Kasi kung titignan mo naman yung mga datos, kunyari, sa Southeast Asia, if you look at the numbers, guys, the situation is actually mahal talaga. Diba? Ito, ito, labas natin. Ito, ito. So actually, if you look at it, Manila is the second most expensive city in ASEAN, guys. It's the most second most expensive city sa ASEAN. Nakikita niyo ba yung graph? So ito, ah, second most expensive. Uh, Manila. It has the second highest re- rent prices among six major cities in Southeast Asia. Singapore lang mas mahal sa atin. But guys, the per capita income of Singapore is super high naman. 10 times more than us. More than 20 times. 20 times more than us almost, no? At uh, kung titignan mo yung ASEAN by per capita income, we're barely top 5. We're not even top 5. Ilabas natin yan para makita nyo guys. Ha? So, ito ha, we're not... Per capita income, ha? Ito, labas na. Para makita nyo na, guys, where we stand in terms of income levels. Diba? Eh, talagang wala tayo dyan sa even top 5, guys, eh. Nag-iwa, napag-iwanan tayo ng ibang bansa. So, this is what I'm gonna show you. This is the per capita income. Based, kasama dyan yung mga projections. Alright. So, see ya. See ya. Second most expensive city in ASEAN. Right? Right? And then, tignan nyo to. Yung per capita income natin, napakababa. So, parang hindi tumutugma. Bakit ganun? Bakit ang mahal yung cost of living? Eh, yung per capita income natin, meaning yung average income ng mga Pilipinas, I mean, ito ah, tignan nyo ito ah. Tignan nyo yung Pilipinas, guys. We're so low. And ito yung Singapore, itong purple, ang oh, taas, di ba? Tapos, uh, Brunei, of course, all rich country, mataas pa rin. 
close to $50,000. Ang Singapore po, umabot ng $100,000 over the years. No? So, medyo projection din yan. So, from 2017 to 2027 ang projection. So, now, of course, we're 2022. Nandito tayo sa gitna. Look at it. The Philippines is not even in top five. So, you see countries like Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, Brunei, Singapore. All of them are richer than the Philippines, right? In terms of per capita income. Sobrang bawa tayo. So, it's kind of weird na ganyan ang per capita income mo. See, this is Philippines. Sobrang sa baba. Diba? And the second most expensive ka. Diba? So, hindi ako nag-rant lang. I'm, just, I'm really looking. So, this is for instance the second most expensive in terms of rent cost, etc. But honestly, if you look at the overall cost of living dito sa atin, napakataas talaga, guys. It's really, it's really, really, really high. So, so again, uh, let me show another graph to you guys para you see where I'm coming from. So, hindi lang ako nag-rant dito na gusto ko lang mag Papogi or whatever. I mean, kailangan ba natin? Hindi. <laughs> ito, ayun na, ito na, nagbabardagulan na naman tayo. What's up, guys? I mean, I'm just, I'm just scandalized by the level of, uh, you know, diba? So, this is another graph that you can see. Let's see which house is going to house the highest cost of living. So, dito is Manila. Uh, so, where cost of living is higher than Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam, which is the richest city, and almost the same level as Bangkok, pagdating sa Manila, for instance. Of course, the, uh, the, but you see, it's higher than Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> and Malaysia is three times higher than us in terms of per capita income, right? Remember, I was showing you this one, this per capita income. If you're trying to find Malaysia, Malaysia is here, Philippines is down here. So, the, their per capita income is like three times higher than us. And yet, Look at the cost of living here, Manila versus KL, right? We're almost the same level as Bangkok. We're way more expensive than KL. Singapore lang yung mas mahal sa atin, pero naman income levels naman sa Singapore. Tingnan nyo naman itong per pa lang Singapore dito tayo sa baba. Diba? I mean, come on guys. So, hindi ako nag-rant lang. I'm really looking at something like what what explains this? Bakit ganong kama, ganong kamahal ang cost of living sa Pilipinas? Habang our per capita income levels are really, really low eh. Are really, really low. It's not even in top six, right? And we're in the bottom four in the region. Pag that's per capita income. We're now even lower than Vietnam, no? And yet, cost of living, way more expensive than Malaysia, than in Vietnam, than in, than in Jakarta. Same level as Bangkok. And then talagang Singapore lang iba, but their per capita income is so much higher than us, as you can see here, no? So, Hindi lang ito random rant eh. Hindi siya politicized rant eh. It's just a general comment on just the scandalous levels of expenses dito sa Pilipinas. And by the way, these are averaged. So it takes into consideration, guys, yung uh, disparities between, I don't know, eating in BGC versus eating in, I don't know, Cuba or whatever, no? All of these things have been taken into consideration already. I'm just showing to you guys, based on data, based on numbers, really Manila is a very expensive place. And that raises a lot of questions. Bakit the craziest questions about fuel costs, energy costs, electricity costs, water costs, rent costs. And I think that's, that's why, that's where na dapat papasok ng gobyerno. And we have to have a proper assessment. Like, is, are these prices really reflective of economic conditions sa Pilipinas? Or are these because of some monopolistic practices? Are these because kulang ng regulations or rent prices? For instance, in other countries, meron sila mga staggered ways or some regulatory mechanisms to make sure na yung rent costs ay hindi tataas masyado, yung real estate costs para hindi magkaroon ng bubbles, bubble kind of biglang taas masyado then biglang babaksak yung yung sistema. So this is where regulation should come in. This is where government should come in. So I'm saying, even as a middle class uh, Manila resident, namamahalan talaga ako. Like for instance, like, sa, iba na sa Italy lang tayo the other week ba? Diba? Diba? Uh, so, don't pasta. 500 pesos. Makahanap ka ng magandang pasta doon. Dito, punta ka sa mga, I'm not gonna name names, not so fancy ones, just the more standard Italian restaurants we have or pseudo-Italian we have. Yan din ang babayaran mo eh. <laughs> 500, 600 pesos ang babayaran mo. And it's not the same quality. Nowhere close. The one you get in Florence, the quality, the ingredients, authenticity, everything is there. And yet here, for a standard version, you get at the same price? Come on. I mean, uh, punta kang Berlin, punta kang, punta kang Salzburg, punta kang some of the cities in, in, in Nordic Europe, right? A basic food at the quality you get, right? Or itlog, right? <laughs> Yung ega, para mas mura pa compared dito eh. Ah, Siyempre tayo, kumakain din tayo sa karenderi. I mean, huwag kayong judgmental sa akin. Oh. Kumakain ako eh. Pag sa umaga, gising ako, nag-work ako. Pumunta ako dun sa karenderi ah. Malapit sa amin kasi may Lordy Gym, isang gym tayo, etc. Alam nila nila kuya yan, no? 
Okay, ano tayo dyan? Mahal na mamahal na ako, guys. Bigla mapapagastos ko na 100 pesos, 150 pesos for for a very basic food that doesn't even have the full nutrition and everything you need. So, yun lang. So, para sa akin, beyond politics, guys, beyond rating nyo kay Marcos, beyond first 100 days, I just want to talk about the, the situation here, guys, na compared sa income levels natin, which is one of the lowest in Asia and incomparable to what we have in the West, Diba? Pinakita natin. Tingnan, tingnan mo niya. Compared nga sa ibang ASEAN countries, ang baba pa rin ang income levels natin. I, I showed that to you in the graph. And then yet, we have the second most expensive city based on many, many indicators, especially rent costs. E mag-grab ka nga lang, pupunta ka from QC, Makati, gano'n. E, aabutan ka ng ano, pag rush hour, 600 pesos, gano'n, 500 pesos. Come on, guy. This is ridiculous. This is just too expensive. And and I I don't know why it's like that. Eh. I mean I know I have my ideas about it, but what I'm saying is that we dapat hindi natin tanggapin na ganyan lang situation. We have to really investigate what's going on. So as I said, this is how low. So this is Philippines. Look at sunshine in black in the almost. Like like how low we are in terms of per capita compared to uh, five six of our neighbors who are richer than us, and yet we're the second most expensive in the region, right? If, at least in terms of some key indicators. Weird yan. Weird yan. That has to be explained in a proper way. Bakit ganun? Clearly, it doesn't reflect like legitimate market forces, etc. There's, there's something going on here. Right? Grabe eh. Ay nako. Anyway, ano sinasabi na tong si Ben? Ay, ma, makinig. Dumalis ka dito. <laughs> Ayan pa. Kamusta ng dollar natin? Nako, isa pang issue pa yan. Alright, eto mga kameta. I, I, I wanna... Stop it here. O, anong nang score nyo from 1 to 100? Baka yung mga comment nyo, sakto lang. Ano nga, maganda? Sakto lang. Ano nga, pangit? Sakto lang nga. Pangit nga. <laughs> Ayan tayo eh. Yung mga ganun, yung mga, kita yung mga kaibigan, ano sinyo kamit mo niya? Maganda, ano nga yun eh. Sakto lang. Pogi ba, sakto lang. <laughs> Ayan tayo, ano yung score nyo? Sakto lang? Ano yung mga score natin dyan? Ay nako, mga kameta. Ay nako, mga kameta. Ito lang sasabihin ko talaga. Kung hindi ko lang kayo mahal, hindi tayo, ay nako, ang daming pwedeng pag-usapan na hindi tayo madidepress, pero talaga kailan natin pag-usapan kasi ramdam na ramdam natin guys eh. Kasi, I mean, tayo na middle class, ramdam ramdam natin, di kamusta na kung mga, di ba, mga kapatid natin na from less privileged backgrounds pa. So, yun po yung sinasabi natin. Anyways, let me thank dun sa mga supporters natin. marami salamat dun sa mga na comment, nag suggestion, na hindi tayo naaway. I I really appreciate it. Yun nga, I'm saying quality, uh, yun nga, hindi lang yung price na pasta to pasta, pero in quality, healthiness, ingredients. Ay nako, pag tiningnan mo lahat ng factors na yan, guys, mahal talaga ang Manila. For yung, yung yung compared sa quality we're getting, guys, for for what we're paying for. Ayun. Ayun. But para may delay dito ah. Ayun, let me Salamat naman tayo dun sa mga supporters natin. Thank you kay Rick Natividad as always. Thank you very much. Kay kay uh, kay kay Jonah Nable. Thank you very much. Kay Arnold Sikio. Kay Riz Ani. Kay Tirso Serrano. Kay Nicole uh, Venezuela. Mina Lim among others. Thank you so much sa mga comments niyo, suggestions niyo. Ayan scoring niyo. Tignan natin yung mga scoring system niyo. So it, again, uh, last last na to, last na to. Wag na kayo sumagot na sakto lang ha. Ano talaga? Ano talaga? Anong anong score niyo? 1 to 100. Tingnan natin. Hoy, be nice. Wag kayong mag ano Grand Prix. <laughs> na ano comments, all right? Sige, thank you very much guys. I really appreciate. Ay nakita ko yung comments natin, yung iba. Nagko-comment sila na you uh, kita mo 500 pesos a day ang gastos mo 600, 'di ba? And that's not even high quality of, you know, access to high quality goods or, or services, etc. Yung traffic sobra na, ano, ay nako. Akala ko, 3 to 6 months, sabi ni, ano, ni, alam nyo na, 3 to 6 months, malas Singapore na tayo. Ito na, 2022 na, nang pecha na. Kamusta traffic? Kamusta ang kalagayan natin? Kamusta ang inflation natin? Kamusta yung, ay nako, ayan kasi tayo eh. Basta guys, my Dolomite Beach. Kaya happy kayo. Para for mental happiness, kung stress kayo, mag Dolomite Beach. So from 1 to Dolomite, <laughs> gano ka okay yung state of happiness and being nyo? Ay nako. 
pasaway talaga kayo. Alright, magpakabait na tayo. Huwag na tayo mag ano, Bukas na tayo magbardagulan. Alright. In the meantime, oh, sabi ko, hindi ko pa binigay yung score ko. I'll just say in certain areas na kita natin na uh, ating mga kababayan are very supportive and happy with the current administration. But some areas like inflation, etc., that's a work in progress. And as I said, unfair din naman lahat i-blame lang sa administrations. Kaya mang, dapat mausay yung press secretary, presidential spokesman, explain yung kalagayan. But nonetheless, you cannot blame people for feeling uh, unsatisfied or worried because even nga tayo nga na middle class, nahihirapan na tayo. So imagine yung mga kabayan natin less privileged. Kaya nga, I had to talk about this cost of living sa Manila. It's a bit crazy, guys. It's a bit too much. And mahal din, it's not like it's cheap kagad pag lumawas ka na Manila. Mahal din doon sa mga malalaking syudad sa atin, di ba? But of course, I know sa amin sa Baguio, it's way more affordable than living here in Manila. Yun lang naman. Pero wag din naman ako palisin. Nagtatrabaho tayo dito. Suro tayo sa mga institution dito, alright? Okay. Maraming salamat, guys. Thank you very much. Um, catch up soon. Uh, think, uh, I know medyo late na sa gabi, so salamat dito sa effort nyo at saka scoring nyo. Titignan ko mamaya yung mga scoring system nyo. <laughs> One to unity. Ayan. Salamat guys. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Adios.